You can see there's absolutely nothing in front of you. The visibility is incredible, particularly wow. in the turns, yeah. which is great for agricultural work in the hills. Hey guys, Big Sunby here. We're here at the Tomorrow Youth Flying Day, and I've got Ian Bell, and he's got this awesome aircraft behind us. All right, Ian, what is this aircraft? Yeah, well, uh, this is a, a Transavia air truck, uh, purpose-built agricultural aeroplane, uh, designed and built in Australia at Seven Hills in Sydney. This particular aeroplane was one of the last built in 1985, and uh, it only had a very short career. Um, it had an engine fire on takeoff. Lucky there was a, um, a farmer with a decent fire extinguisher and uh, he put it out. Unfortunately, it wasn't insured, so it went into the back of a hangar for 35 years. I've been busting to hear about all the features of this aircraft. All right, what do we have here at this front? Obviously, we've got a, a constant speed um, propeller. We've got bigger tyres here, it looks like, than a normal aircraft. What's the uses for these? Can they land on gravel and...? Yeah, well, they're designed to, you know, operate out of paddocks, these machines. So, oh, wow. uh, they got a very good uh, oleo system on these that you know, sort of cushion out the, the bumps uh, and uh, a lot of agricultural strips are fairly ordinary. I see this weird looking leading edge type thing on the front of the windscreen. What is that? Yeah, that's actually a wire cutter. Um, if you uh, come across a, a, a power line, uh, that's the mainly, uh, they call it a cutter, but it's a deflector too. It'll deflect it back up over the, uh, over the tailplane. It's, they've saved a few. And pilots, I think. And the other feature here is this stub wing. Yeah. Um, air trucks are built on this steel structure through here. The undercarriage is connected to it. Your wing attaches are connected to it. That's the most important bit of an air truck. It's often referred to as a sesquiplane, which is a wing and a half. Where do you hold all the water when you're spraying? Like, where's the tank in this? Yeah, well, the tank's uh, pretty well on the uh, centre of gravity. There's a hopper lid just behind the pilot's head there. Yeah. And uh, this is the hopper area here. So do you feed the spray chemical into the top of the aircraft? This one uh, is only uh, for solid fertilisers. Truck comes in between the, the booms and puts it in the top there. How do you actually dump the fertiliser out of this? Because I don't see any big open hatches anywhere here. Yeah. Well, actually, there's um, some hopper doors in underneath um, the aeroplane here, uh, which control from the, the cockpit. All right, and very unique tail design here. Tell us a bit about this. With uh, fertilisers and chemicals, corrosion is historically a big issue with agricultural aeroplanes. So this was designed to keep the... Uh, the tail feathers out of the stream of the corrosive material and also it gave good access for the truck to come in between the booms, the loading truck, yeah. and uh, drop the uh, fertiliser into the top. I couldn't help but notice some windows here in the back of the aircraft. What is that? Two, two seats. Two people can sit in the back here. Yeah, there's a fairly unique place to, to fly. You're seeing where you've been, not where you're going. And how do you actually get up to the cockpit of this aircraft? It's just your right turn. Uh, foot in there and then your left foot, your handle there and you've got another handle at the top. But uh, yeah, it, when you first start doing it, it's a bit of a struggle, but uh, you Getting learn yourself. very early not to uh, park your your aeroplane right wing downhill because oh, it's yeah. hard, hard to climb up a wall that's leading <laughs> back towards you. <laughs> yeah. You see how thin this cockpit area is. Is it very spacious in the cockpit at all? Um, you wouldn't want it any narrower. When you look at it, you can see there's absolutely nothing in front of you. Yeah, yeah. And the, the visibility is incredible, particularly wow. in the turns, yeah. which is great for agricultural work in the hills. Obviously, this is an agricultural plane. It carries a lot of weight, fertiliser. What's the engine in it? Yeah, it's a Continental um, IA540. It's a 300 horsepower engine. So what sort of speeds are you cruising at in this air truck? Uh, yeah, they're not fast. Oh, around 100 knots in the cruise. With that stub wing, they fly at very low speed. Uh, you know, 45 knots, they'll, they'll come off the deck. All right, and you're working out on the farm, you're flying. I just want to thank Flight.Aero. Thanks to Flight. We're going to be able to give you some free pair of sunnies that you can use on the farm. It's, they're absolutely awesome. They've got carbon fiber arms. They won't fall off your face. Thank you very much, uh, Flight.Aero. I appreciate that, and I look forward to uh, trying them out. <laughs>